Jordan, a country located in the Middle East. Being in the dead center of the Middle East, it suffers a constant depletion of its water. Jordan also experienced a massive influx of refugees, spiraling its population. Jordan shares its water with many other countries in need, including Israel and Syria. From years of constant usage, the Dead Sea has begun depleting. The water was being evaporated. It was because the Jordan River that had once poured into the Dead Sea had begun drying up. With the constant wind speed of 9.5 knots paired with an average temperature of 31 degrees Celsius, the water cycle cannot keep up with the climate of Jordan. The only arable part of Jordan is in the northwestern area, just below the disputed Israel Golan Heights area. The Golan Heights are an important source of water in Jordan. The 1,800 square kilometer area has an average altitude of 1,000 meters and allows for ice to accumulate and then melt. This is the beginning of the Jordan water cycle. This water provides many people with fresh beverages. The water trickles down the slope into what is known as the Sea of Galilee an area of which is used by Jordan, but leaves some that is transported to the Dead Sea. The water is then distilled and treated, which is then sent to the homes in need. Citizens receive 26% of their tap water from the Yahmouk River, which intersects the R Jordan River. After each segment of this journey receives its daily underdoses of water, the sun takes a small fee called evaporation. The percentage of this fee depends on the temperature of the region. The evaporation rate is so high that there isn't much to evaporate, leaving the country with the scarcity. Before it was populated, Jordan still had limited amounts of water, but it wasn't as serious as today. But there weren't many local sources of water. The increase in population and global warming accelerated the rate of lost water. Jordanians use rain wells to collect any rain before it evaporates. Though with high demand and usage of water in cities, the government has limited the time a well can be used. These rain wells do their job, but with rain being so rare, most wells are empty. Most citizens who live in cities own water barrels, which hold water and are filled as much as possible. The tanks are typically stored in a valley or on roofs to increase accessibility. The location of these tanks is there to make it easier to be filled, but also it can be stolen more easily. The insecurity of the water in Jordan has been around for a while. In 2013, the Ministry of Water and Irrigation launched a campaign to deal with water theft. And in four years, over 30,000 violations have been prevented. This approach to having a stable source of water has been retrieved millions of cubic meters of water. There are three general methods of obtaining water. The first, desalination. Desalination is the process of taking salt water from the seas or oceans and removing the salt, making it safe to drink. The Jordan government has already set up water desalinization plants in both the Dead and Red Sea. The second, sanitization plants. A frequent water source found around many countries. It works by pushing water through a system of filters and then treating the water, making it drinkable. And the last, aquifer mining. This method is the easiest and most reliable of, out of all. It pumps water out of an underground area of regular permeability and high concentration of water. And with the access to aquifers only beginning in the mid-1980s, Jordan has a semi-consistent source of water. These three methods of obtaining water can be implemented into Jordan's water system, which can ensure a stable water supply. The 
optimal plan is in this GIF. Over here, we have a solar energy farm. This farm will be used to power plants and sell energy to neighboring countries to pay for the plant expenses. The water connects to a sanitization plant where the city flushes its waste, which will soon be reused. The final part of this system is a water mining plant. This plant will be able to level the income of water by increasing the amount of water which can be reused. In this plant, no or very little water will be lost through sewage. If it was put in place, new pipes would be installed, as the number one reason to loss of water in sewage is leaky pipes. With this six-step plan, the government can fight against the scarcity of water, and maybe, just one day, we'll be able to end it.